Howdy doody fellas, this is your host Super Poopy and today we're talking about the Russian Soviet AKM invented in 1959 and designed, no, put into service in 1959, my bad, alright, and 7.62x39, now this is not an AK-47 because a lot of people confuse the AKM for the AK-47, but in reality, uh, the AKM is basically a Packer Punch version of the AK-47 because the AK-47 was uh, designed somewhere in the mid 40s I believe, and not actually put into service till like the late 1940s, damn near the 50s. Uh, I know the AK-47 was invented obviously in 1947 or whatnot, but yeah, I didn't see a uh, significant service till like the late 40s, like late, late, all right? Cause 47's already freaking late. This is the AKM. They practically just tossed that bitch into the Packer Punch machine and kading, uh, out comes the AKM with a better, better, um, um, what do you call it, muzzle tip that actually helps with the recoil which is quite amazing okay you gotta keep in mind you're firing 762 by 39 all right um at about 300 yards that is still in a uh, powerful round not as good as the 556 but still you gotta keep in mind uh the, the bullet of the 762 by 39 is still pretty fat decent round you know what i'm saying abortion from distance innovation that excites uh freaking russians but as i was saying um something about the ak-47 is that it's not exactly um i heard they're a bit more unreliable and uh you know the akm is obviously known for its ruggedness and all that shit but uh, honestly honestly it's not even that different from the m16 they're just exaggerating i don't know why they make the akm to seem like a more brute gun that could survive abuse and all this shit but anyways obviously you know the ak-47 was invented by mikhail kalashnikov a russian officer of the soviet union and obviously you know he still did his service in the russian military by uh i believe he made the ak uh the ak-12 and all these new ak-47 type weapons like the ak-101 and uh you know the ak-74 because you know later in the years you know uh, the Soviet Union, uh, as soon as the invention of the 556 from the M16 came out, the Soviet Union saw the necessity and um, the ability of the 556 and, you know, its performance, its distance, it's able to tumble and all that shit. And the thing about the 762 by 39 is that although it delivers quite a blow, quite an impact, uh, you know, once you get off to a certain distance, uh, you're losing a lot of power, you know what I'm saying? To the point where you're just gonna feel a hard flick at, like, uh, quite the distance, you know what I'm saying? So, um, although Mikhail Kalashnikov did not like the idea of, uh, going to a smaller round, uh, you know, with the AK-74, um, you know, personally, Mikhail Kalashnikov, he said it in his words, um, I did my research that he would have preferred if the Russian army was still using the 762 by 39 But as you can see here the AK-47 uh, AK and the AKM they're still being used extensively all throughout the world uh, Here in this footage you're looking at a Navy SEAL using an AKM to fight Taliban uh, Insurgents inside some sort of a stronghold house here. So it's pretty freaking awesome, you know like uh, even like non, uh, even NATO countries are actually still using AK-47s because a lot of these NATO countries they come from uh, uh, past communist uh, uh, countries. You know what I'm saying? A great example of this is Poland. Poland uses the AK-74 a lot. However, I do think they're switching to a 5.56 type rifle because right now they'd be using 5.45 with that AK-74. And on top of that, uh, I heard that even though the 5.45 uh, was somewhat of an improvement for uh, Russian, uh, the Russian military, uh, I heard it does not perform as well as the 5.56 because what I heard from the 5.56, and I've talked to a lot of veterans who fought in Iraq and Afghanistan, and they've seen what exit wounds of a 5.56 can do. Because you look at a 5.56 bullet, it is just a little pin. You wouldn't even expect a bullet to look at that if you have no experience with weapons, you know. I'm, uh, I remember when I used to be new to guns, I got a 9mm and I'm like, oh, okay, this is as small as a bullet could get. And you look at the 5.56, it's smaller than a 9mm, you know? You'd expect a rifle round to be bigger than a pistol round, you know? Because uh, I, I come from a very anti-gun family, so, you know, you wouldn't expect that little needle to cause so much damage. Like, I've heard of bullets just coming out one side of the body and then the exit wound is just absolutely devastating. And don't get me wrong, the 762 by 39 is a very powerful round. And, uh, you know, if you look at a lot of, uh, you know... Um, a good example is like uh, war crimes committed during the Yugoslavian Civil War and all those Slavic Wars. Uh, there was absolutely a lot of war crime, you know. If you have the stomach for it, I recommend you look at it. But a lot of those, 
you know, a lot of innocent people were executed with AKs. And uh, you could see the devastation that the AK round can cause and all that nasty exit wounds and stuff. Yeah, pretty, pretty disgusting but awesome weapon. You know, Mikhail Kalashnikov doesn't regret it. However, he is pissed off at the Chinese because the Chinese actually made their own version of the AK-47 without giving any credit or, you know, doing the whole proper process of uh you know getting a patent for the ak you know how the fucking chinese are very uncreative pieces of shit uh and by chinese i mean the chinese government okay just to clarify you know what i'm saying so anyways i gotta fuck off but anyways we're going off topic we already know the history of this weapon obviously if you follow this channel you probably follow forgotten weapons and all these other gun channels you know i'm just doing it for fun but at the end of the day what you're looking at is a romanian akm okay so the front grip is not there because my homie replaced it uh as you know uh romanian akms usually have the dong grip on them uh my homie decided to take it off because when you try to remove the mag it will actually bump into the dong grip and uh, that would just be an absolute problem. As you can see, he fixed it with a dot sight, a good flashlight, and he's decided that this is gonna be his main battle rifle if shit ever does decide to hit the fan, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, very cool. Obviously, you're gonna see me shoot some shots. Um, right now, this is footage I took in Arizona. That's why it doesn't have the padding on it. As you know, I'm in California, unfortunately. So uh, he did manage, he, he did bring it over to California for me to, uh, so we could go shoot it. And, uh, you know, I have footage of uh, us popping a couple rounds. Unfortunately, it is cold, so I didn't want to shoot that much. It kind of killed my enthusiasm. I was freezing my ass off, and I was just not prepared. But, guys, like and subscribe. Mucho love. Take care. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest of this shooting footage. And uh, I hope you found this video entertaining or somewhat informative. Anyways, enjoy. Stupid. Cook, cook a nice AK, AKM, 